Daily Factor. Thanks, Stan Winters and Bill O'Reilly. We continue now with Is It Legal? And Florida prosecutors have charged Casey Anthony with willful negligence in making false statements in connection with the disappearance of her two-year-old daughter, Kaylee, who's still missing. Also, a two-year-old boy and a four-year-old toddler were given pot by, eight, by an 18-year-old named uh, Demetrius McCoy, who has now been held to account. Can you believe this? I, I mean, really, you know? Once again, Kelly and Wheel. All right, let's get to uh, Casey Anthony. She's been held $500,000 bail. Now they have lodged two formal charges against her. Still no body of the woman, still nothing, right? Right. Not a big shock at all. They That's had to baby. charge her or let her go. Yep. Uh, and so they charged her. And I have to say, just based on the evidence that she's admitted to, forget what the cops have said, but the, the, what she's admitted to, they have her dead to rights on these two charges. As everybody knows by now, this woman uh, didn't report her daughter missing for any place from four to six weeks uh, and claims that the child was kidnapped but didn't bother to call anybody's attention to it. That, that right there, they've got a, ch uh, a charge of right. child neglect. Absolutely. Uh, and lying to investigators, let me count the ways. Have you I mean, heard... there's at least 200 lies you can go through that the right. police say she's told. She invented told. a babysitter that now we don't even think exists. Right. We powerful. have Greta Van Susteren down in Orlando, and she'll have more on this. But did you hear that the uh, grandmother is now negotiating for immunity? to testify to the FBI, did I, you hear that? I, what I heard was that the, the mother, Casey, had bargained with authorities to get uh, immunity, but then her lawyer came out and said, that's news to me, and the prosecutor uh, came out and she said can't. it's not the The mother case. can't get immunity, but this one could. Yeah. The grandmother could. The, grandmother the FBI could. is involved because, right. you know, it might be a kidnapping case. All right, Wheel, um, this is disgusting. Absolutely. Um, two guys have a two-year-old and a four-year-old roll a tape on this, and they give them pot and cocaine. Right. And cocaine. To these and, little kids. And one of them now is, uh, after a year, because this happened last year, what happened to him? He took a plea deal for eight years. He's going to do eight years in prison. And I think that was fair, because he was looking at a maximum of ten years. And instead, by pleading, he saves going to trial. He saves those little kids from going to trial. Imagine these two- and four-year-olds well, at the time. Well, they're not going to go to trial. So now he's going to go to jail for eight years. All right, so this guy gets sentence. eight years. How much does he have to serve, do we know? Well, it's a state court. So He'll get time off for good behavior. So probably be five, out or six, five or six. Right? Right. All right. Now there's another guy, and this guy is going to testify against right. the other guy. Right. That so was, he'll get the bigger beef. Exactly. Right? And that was probably all, always a part of the deal. Right. Um, a sort of the ringleader. So he may be looking at ten, maybe more. All you right. Know, solid well, time. as long as put these guys away yeah. for as long as they can. It's a good all right. Deal. Now in Texas, this is a thing. very, very disturbing story. In Texas, there is a church, a fundamentalist. I, I imagine small. And, and they kidnap a 17-year-old. They take a 17-year-old whose parents are out of town. There she is. And they bring her in for an exorcism. Pick it up from there, Kelly. Uh, well, they, they do what they call laying hands on her, which essentially amounted to pummeling the girl for two hours one day and then again for several hours a couple of days later. While the girl was writhing and twisting and screaming, let me go, and she walked away bruised and cut and hurt and really emotionally damaged to the point where uh, she had all sorts of problems later trying to commit suicide, having to leave school. All right, so and they so work so her over in, in the name of God. It's They're punishing her physically because they don't like her conduct or whatever. And they thought she, was, and she, she had the devil in her. And they're sued, right? Yeah, right. so she sues, saying the girl you, and that, that's an assault sued, and a battery. Sue this church. Yeah, that's assault, a battery, intentional infliction of emotional and distress, And the Texas Supreme Court says? The te Texas Supreme Court uh, threw out all the claims that relate to her emotional damages, uh, saying you can't sue for that because the church has a First Amendment right not to have its practices interfered with by the government. Even if it, they're beating somebody up. Even if they're beating somebody up. Completely forgetting that even though there are religious protections in this country, they don't allow you to just skirt the laws. Why, I can't, why, why wasn't the pastor, whoever did that, arrested and charged with battery? Because of the First Amendment. Because the, the cops down there, and apparently the courts, think that there is a First Amendment right that allows pastors and other churchgoers to do this to the parishioners. But if you extend this argument out, then you can say, look, we can sacrifice people on the altar just well, that's because what, it that's what to some be of these crazy uh, Islamic, uh, right. you know, this offshoots makes no of, sense. Right, they, they stone you that's and this right. and any other thing. And that's what the dissent said. The dissent said, yes, First Amendment right, freedom of religion, but it stops right. at abuse. You can't do that. So the case, But the case remains viable in the physical realm. You're saying emotionally Yeah, there was never out. any question that the assault claim and the battery claim could stand. It was whether her claims right. so for the emotional go to distress. Court. No, because no. the majority threw it out. Right. Well, we both agree with the dissent. But you just said they threw out the emotional. Yeah, but that's already been stuff. litigated. That's already been litigated. So they she settled yeah. on a physical. Yeah, stuff. that's it. She, she so already they got a jury the, verdict the on that. the girl and her family some yes. money. Yeah. The church did. Yeah. Okay. Crazy. All right. And finally, Nancy Grace uh, on CNN 
interviews a, uh, a mother, and this is like the Florida case. A baby disappears. Nobody knows where the baby is. Here, sure. M Melinda Duckett, right? Yeah, Duckett. that's it. Okay. So she's foolish enough, this Melinda Duckett, to go on Nancy Grace while her baby is missing, okay? Right. And roll the tape on it. Why aren't you telling us and giving us a clear picture where you were before your son was kidnapped? Because I'm not going to put those kind of details out. Why? Because I was told not to. Miss Duckett, you're not telling us for a reason. All right, so now the family of Melinda Duckett, who committed suicide. Now, she committed suicide right after that interview, but that was a taped interview, so it never went out on TV. Yeah, it did. She it, it did she, after the she fact. Committed, she, after she the committed fact. suicide but, before. Right, but you can't say that after the humiliation, because she could killed herself before it was broadcast. All right, what well, do you think about Well, but she knew that case? it was, was going to be broadcast. Okay. And what the judge said is, look, it can go forward. The case can go forward, so a jury can decide, looking at those facts, All right, how to you're on the jury. That. I'm on the jury. I don't give her a penny, but I do agree with the judge. I say it goes forward to a jury. So to you, let a jury you don't decide. you don't make Grace pay. No, I don't, because the fact is, you know, as you said, when you go on that show, you know you're going to be grilled. You know exactly what you're walking into. All right, into, so you're on a jury, and you say no, no penalty for herself, Grace. If she killed herself, it was probably from because of a guilty conscience. Okay. Well, what, do you uh, make Grace pay? Yeah, I, absolutely not. I, I'm, so you oh, both agree? I completely agree. No penalty agree. for Grace. I, I have, no, I think the lawsuit should have been dismissed. I don't agree with Lisa that it should, should have gone forward. But I think once this thing gets to a trial, Nancy Grace has a slam dunk on her side. This woman tried to commit suicide several times in the past. Mm -hmm. Nancy Grace was hard on her because this was days after her boy went missing. She wouldn't tell Nancy Grace what she'd been doing that day. She wouldn't say whether she'd taken well, a polygraph. Why would the same thing her husband, on Grace? Though. Her husband was sitting, exactly, right. her husband was on the same panel with Grace. He said whether what he did that day. He said she whether he took answer. a polygraph. She wouldn't. And the I, cops, I mean, I, the I, cops, that could have happened to me because I would have done the same thing. Absolutely They right. never found the baby, right? They never yeah. found the baby, and the police said later that they believed Melinda Duckett she had become a suspect. Or so the she baby's was the woman still they missing. Were looking at. Yes. And not only that, after while her child was missing, they found his toys, his snacks, his photographs had been thrown in the garbage by this mother, Melinda Duckett, mm. along even with his picture, his picture of him all as right, a son. It's not for us to be judge and jury and decide it. Now, all the judge said here was a jury, a proper jury, can decide this and look at all, all right. the facts wrong and probably death. came to the same conclusion. If you don't think, if you don't think it's there. not for us to be judge and jury, you're on the wrong show. Okay? <laughs> That's what we do here. Oh, I'm remember, sorry, though. I'm remember, Remember, real quick, ladies, and I thank you for both being here. This happened to the factor after we uh, had the FBI guy on and said we're looking at, for two child molesters, and they killed themselves in Arizona right after that broadcast.